fire hokey. Sleep deprived, yes. It's not been a good day for sleep. But it's a good day for video response time. Um, my buddy Carl, also known as Briar Hokey, has just hit 200 subscribers on his YouTube channel, which is pretty amazing considering I think he's only been on YouTube since September. That's only a few months to like really pick up those subscribers. That's pretty impressive, sir. Kudos. Carl's my friend. I talk to him all the time on Voxer, Instagram. We get along great. His content on his channel is great. It's informative. It's entertaining. So, yeah. No surprise there that he's rising in, in fame, you know, acquiring subscribers and, and you know, an ungodly manner. You know, a rate, you know, a rate that is quite ridiculous indeed. <laughs> so congratulations, Carl. You deserve it. Uh, and I'm happy to participate in the giveaway, answering your questions in the form of a video response. So let's, uh, let's get to it. You, you asked three questions. So I'll just, I'll just hit them up. Uh, if we could have a pipe with somebody in the future, who would we want to smoke with? And what blend would we want to smoke? Well, for me, it's very simple. I'd like to smoke with my son, uh, John, who's 13. He has, a, he has kind of an interest in pipes. And when he's of age, I'm sure he'll take up the pipe. Maybe not so much as me or us, but you know, I'm sure he's, he wouldn't mind having a pipe occasionally. So if I could smoke with him, I'd probably get something that w that's like, maybe like a birth year tobacco, something that was jarred up on the, the, the year he was born. If not, uh, maybe whatever the latest offering from GLPs or Cornell and Deal is, like whenever, whenever we sit down in a, in a few years to smoke. So, so that's that. Uh, your second question was, um, if we could have a pipe with somebody in the YouTube pipe community now that we haven't met, haven't smoked with, who would it be and what would we smoke? What blend? Um, great question. And uh, kind of a challenging one because I've met tons of you guys already. And smoking with you guys has been a highlight of my, my life, an absolute pleasure. Meetups and pipe shows are fantastic. Um, aside from yourself, Carl, whom I would, I would love to meet you. I'd love to sit down and have some aged Escudo with you. But, uh, let's see. Well, you got the crew from the Northeast. You got folks like, uh, Brad, Pipes and Kayaks. You got, uh, Matches. And you got the Polish Piper and Wiz D. You know, none of those guys have I met. I would love to sit down with those guys. I'd love to sit down with some of the the Europe guys, you know, Tom Tomas Kalheim and Jonathan Want, the Peaches, Bosco Piper, uh, the Chris, you know, Legacy Dot UK. I mean, tons of those guys. Love to to hang out with all my uh, folks in Europe and Australia. You got Glenn Pipenutter, haven't met him. Alex and uh, you know, the Big Hippo and Dee Dee and Briar Hart and Aficionado, uh, all those cool guys from Australia. There's, there's more. The, the Australian pipers keep popping up all over the place. I can't keep track of them. <laughs> but I guess if you really had to put a gun to my head and say, who do you want to sit down with? It'd be the California guys. I haven't got to meet any of those guys, really. Uh, you got Cisco and Ben and... Cynthia and Susan, you know, the Stutter Gals in, in L.A. Uh, and you've got, like, Happy Smoking 100, Danny Shore, Stogie Farts, Arnold, Phil Rivara, Paul Menard, uh, I think Amy, you know, Captain Freckles, all those, all those California people. Uh, and if you go further east into the mountains, you got, like, Queen of Cobbs and Drew the Shed and Alec Bradley. I mean, there's... There's Alec Bradley. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Stay at home, Piper. So I guess, so yeah, um, I'd like to sit down with the California guys and have some Pelican with those guys. So I'm running this, running this on. I'm turning it into a shout out video, but um, <laughs> I can't quit that. All right. From, from the past, who would I want to sit down with? Easy. Mo Howard, Three Stooges. He was a pipe smoker, a comedian, uh, but he, in his real life, he wasn't like the angry slap him around. He did try to take care of you know his his fellow Stooges, his brothers, and uh, you see folk, you see pictures. I see pictures of you know famous pipe smokers, and it's all I always see Mo Howard of the Three Stooges in those pictures. And I've been a long time admirer of the Three Stooges um, since my childhood, and it just tickled my fancy. When I learned that Mo smoked a pipe, uh, all the more reason uh, that I'd love to sit down with him. I even before I started smoking a pipe, I thought it'd be cool to meet Mo Howard of the Three Stooges. And now that I smoke pipes, and that I know that he does, he did. Uh, that would have made that all the more interesting. And what would we smoke? Um, I'd like to get something, I'd like to smoke whatever the popular blend of the time was, you know, maybe, uh, like, like original Balkan Sobrani or some original Dunhill, uh, but I would probably bring back something like Quiet Nights, you know, some, some masterful modern blend that, that, you know, it's like, oh, you like your, you know, your, you know, your original Three Nuns? Have some Quiet Nights, see how that tastes. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Carl, congratulations. Um, sorry for rambling on. Uh, there's, uh, I love the YouTube pipe community, and I, I do my best to try to support and help out, and 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 you know, shout out and make videos. God, this I'm so tired. I'm gonna quit talking now. Y'all check out Carl. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you for watching. Smell my beard.